Shalom, Yasharada. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to the few Akwath that's listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Alright? You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Elder Apostle Taha coined this year, 2023, the year, the hopeful year where all prophecies shall come to pass. So if 2023 is the year where all prophecies are going to come to pass, that means the, um, the MOTB, pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16, you know, the C hip, that's going to be implemented across the, the whole entire earth. Um, famine of the word, that's going to come. So you ain't going to hear the word of the Lord through his prophets anymore. Um, um, Sarp Salaki, my man just went black man Jacob's trouble, pursuant to Jeremiah 30 and 7 You know Matthew 24 and 21 Great tribulation, the worst time in history The great insurrection against the men of the Lord Pursuant to 2nd Ezra 16 Alright And uh, salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel man That's, That is what could all be happening this year Oh, and World War 3 How could I forget Pursuant to uh, Revelation 11 and 14 Okay So You want to be seeking the Lord While he may be found man You don't want to Wait Until All hell breaks loose And you're neck deep in calamities And that's when you want to Get right with the Lord man That's, that's not how it works You know <laughs> If you had a woman Who never gave you the time of day Right Let's say you was broke you have this woman that never gave you the time of day Right Now now you're up Now you're in your element And all of a sudden she want to give you the time of day Are you, are you, are you going to Are you going to mess with that woman Or are you going to just deal with someone else man You know What are you going to do Well that's the same thing with the Lord Why the hell is he going to save you Right When he um, You know he ain't showed all his glory now He ain't seen the full greatness of the Lord yet you know, but he's he's calling on you, right? He's knocking on your door to repent, to get right, to have faith. But you don't want to do that. And now all of a sudden, when you're neck deep in Jacob's trouble and all these calamities, now you want to remember the Lord, man. You're going to reject you, all right? The Lord, he, he, got, uh, uh, um, uh, he got feelings too. The Lord has a personality, man, all right? He's a Jake. He's an Israelite, you see? So anyways, let's um bring the precepts out. I'm, I'm on the way to the plantation field. You know, I'm running a bit late, so I'm just gonna, you know. This is the impromptu as well. I ain't really got nothing lined up, but you know, we're going, we're going in the spirit, man. So we're gonna start here, Isaiah 55 and 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Alright, the Lord, he ain't completely turned his face away. From, from, his, from his people man And you know that how Because you still got the men of the Lord The prophets out there On the highways and the byways um, <laughs> Damn it's cold outside man You know it's funny because in the winter I mean not the winter We're still in the winter In, in December You know the so called month of Christmas it was, uh, it was quite warm Now here we are Then we had snow for one day <laughs> Okay Then we had snow for one day and now, then we had a bit of warm weather, then then it's freezing again. Like, my car just dinged off because it's, it's cold outside, man. It's telling me it's four degrees. You know, but anyway, sticking to the point. But you see, actually, that is part of the point of why you need to be seeking the Lord. Because you see, you got this devil, you know, he playing with the weather. You know, you got harp out there, H-A-A-R-P. All right, you got uh, this devil, um, um, uh, you know, Releasing chemtrails in the air And you wonder why you're sick all the time man And this is why You need to seek the Lord While he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near Alright and as I said He ain't completely turned his face away From his people 
because you know we still um, have the men of the Lord out there man or the highways and the byways we still have these videos going up on the internet man so the Lord he's still having mercy on his people by him having his men teaching this word is the Lord having mercy on us verse 7 let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon man you know why can't two-thirds of the nation of Israel get this the Lord will abundantly pardon man but you need to seek him you need to show him you're serious you need to show him that you want to be delivered that you're tired of being in Esau Edom's wicked society man you need to show the Lord that you want salvation man you're done with, with uh, uh, um, um, the wickedness of this world man because this world is nothing but wicked and it's only getting more evil man you know Ezekiel 7 and 5 says behold evil and only evil is come you see the end come you know let's just get that real quick um Ezekiel 7 and 5 thus saith the Lord Yahweh an evil and only evil behold is come an end is come the end is come it watcheth for thee behold it is come you you see all these end time prophecy movies right you see how everyone is just in calamities families are destroyed people are dying left right and center people suffering left right and center and now we're here and we see the signs of the end times yet you niggas want to have one big israelite party man you know the heart of the fools is in the house of feasting man the heart of the wise meaning the mind of the wise are in the house of mourning we're mourning man you know those of us in this truth we suffer daily in this society man we're, we're, we're catching hell but it's okay we will bear the indignation that the lord has, has put upon us because we have sinned against him i believe that's micah 7 and 9 all right until he plead our cause and how is he going to plead our cause by sending his only begotten son yahweh shai to, to to deliver his elect man that's how the lord is going to plead our cause all right but you see we, we need to be seeking the lord man because really and truly there, there, there's no place for us outside of this truth man If we go back into the world what, what, What's there in the world for us man? Death and destruction lie at the door Really and truly Let's jump down to verse 25 Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace And there shall be none And this is why we need to be seeking the Lord Whilst he may be found man Because there ain't going to be no peace out here First Thessalonians 5 and 3 says You know what let, let, Let's get that real quick You know Precept upon precept Line upon line That's how we learn these scriptures man So this is um, First Thessalonians 5 and 3 For when they shall say peace and safety Then sudden destruction cometh upon them As travail upon a woman with child And they shall not escape So you are not going to, to, to be able to escape the calamities that the Lord is going to put on this earth man you are not going to be able to survive it man if you ain't a part of the elect you see that's why scriptures say it is a fearful Hebrews 10 and 31 specifically says that it's a it is a, a, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power man you'd rather get rebuke rebuke from from a brother from an elder than than to than to you know fall into the hands of the living power man and let the lord deal with it man because if the lord deals with it you're through all right talking about you want the you you, you don't want to listen to the men of the lord you want you want so-called jesus right to come down and, and break down the scriptures for you man he ain't gonna come down and break down the scriptures for you bro that's what he's got his men out here for but he, he might just hit you he might just strike you with that lightning man and, and 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 then next thing you know you're in the spirit world man you know what i'm saying so so get you know get serious about about seeking salvation man you know get wise onto salvation man because look man as, as the um as we get closer to the end the only thing that really matters is this truth man this is the true riches man all right you know let's go to um ecclesiastes 7 
bear with me i'm in transit this is ecclesiastes 7 and 11 wisdom is good with an inheritance and by it there is profit to them that see the sun for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense okay so both wisdom and money is a defense you know you're in a sticky situation and you got that big bag you know you got that bread it, it, that's your defense all right but it also says that wisdom is a defense now let's read on but the excellency of knowledge aka wisdom is right um hold on but the excellency but the excellency of knowledge is that it giveth life to them that have it and that's what we're going to need in these last days man because there's going to be so much death and destruction going on in these last days man that we're going to need life we're going to need wisdom isaiah 33 and 6 says that um wisdom uh, and knowledge shall be the stability of that times man it didn't say money it didn't say that big bag was going to be the stability of your time it said wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that times man so now is the time to stop playing around man get right with the lord you know the 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 the, the window of repentance is fastly closing man so you know the time for playing around and oh yeah do what thou wilt spirit and no party and bullshit man get out of that spirit man get out of that mirth spirit man and get serious about your salvation because hey man when the lord sends when the heavenly father yahweh sends down his only begotten son yahweh shai to bring forth his wrath and that judgment is game over man and and you don't want to die the death of the wicked man because esau edom he going out sad all right he going out with a bang literally via nuclear destruction concentrated fire from those chariots you know those laser beams I, he, he, look, he's going to be blasted out of here, man You don't want that smoke Trust me, you don't want I don't want that smoke That's why I'm doing the best that I can To make sure I'm in the Lord's good books, man To be a part of the elect I don't want that smoke I ain't going to sit here prideful and be like Oh yeah, what? What? The Lord thinks he's bad, yeah? Come then what? Nah, man that, Look Pride cometh uh, 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 before destruction, man And a haughty spirit before a fool Alright, so, so humble Seckle yourself down, alright? You know, repent, man. Get right with the Lord. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. All right, stop delaying turning to the Lord, man. Oh, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll do it next month. I'll do it next year. You know, oh, yeah, I started 2023 wrong. So I just, oh, I'm just going to have to wait until 2024. Well, well, we might not make it to 2024. What then? What then? So make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. All right, uh, for suddenly, when you least expect it, when you least expect it, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. You know, so so get right, man. Repent, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near, because look, man, he look. He's about to send down his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to bring forth death and destruction, man. You know, let's uh, uh, bring this precept up. This is um, this is uh, Matthew 10 and 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Um, I came not to send peace, but a sword. The Lord is coming to bring forth death and destruction, man. You see, he ain't coming to bring no peace on the earth, man. So repent and seek the Lord whilst you can. All right? Because when that judgment comes, you're going to wish you got right with the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, man. You're going to wish you believed. You're going to wish you had the faith, man. All right? So I've pretty much made the point, man. I ain't going to be a dead horse. All right? So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Until the next time, I say shalom.